سبحان الله does that make sense أيها الإخوة that we take the most hated places to Allah the أسواق we take it and we drag it to the masajid that are the most beloved places to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his lands and all of this is done under the tutelage and the guidance of the Imam Allahu Akbar but the Imam advertises no one must forget we're having a market day no one must forget bring your wives and your daughters subhanallah for what? for other men to look at Subhanallah, to mix freely with other men. Where is the khira? Where is the religious jealousy? The protectiveness that you must have for your wives and your daughters and your women folk. That you protect them. That khira necessitates that you don't want them to mix with other men. That you don't want your wife to be standing there smiling in the face of another man. You know, or subhanallah, the, what you call this, negotiating with him over products or whatever the case may be. Bringing this to the masajid, to the houses of Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. Ay fitna. Or fun days. Fun days. We're having a fun day at the masjid. A fun day, subhanallah. And when you look, the males and the females, yani both the adults and the children, the youth, all together having fun at the masjid. At the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everyone looking at the other. Women coming out of their homes beautified. Beautified and not covered with Islamic hijab. Women sitting next to men, none maharim or mixing. Wallahi, this actions, it is haram even in your house. Many of us, we have that religious jealousy and pride that in my house, you are not going to come and sit with my wife and my daughter. Can you imagine? You're not going to come in and sit here with, and look into the face of my wife and my daughter in my house. But you can go do it at the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can go do it at the masjid. Imam is also there. Imam is also there, he's part of it. Subhanallah. May Allah save us from these imams of misguidance.